it going Jean Serge going here so today we're going to talk about the course hosting platform click eCourse and we're going to talk about what it is what it's not and how you can use it to do what it lets you do <laughs> right so it's a course hosting platform lets you host courses lets you create lessons lets you create modules lets you create quizzes lets you set up a even a blog on there if you want well there's going to be more and more features added as we go but we're going to talk about the basics and what's available right now on the platform and we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so you have a course that you put together and maybe you put it on Facebook or you put it on YouTube, you put it someplace on social media or maybe you maybe you have it someplace else, you have it on your blog or you have it on a, your own custom web page and people are asking for the course and maybe you're selling it, maybe you're not but you're sending them links through emails with the pages and the list of videos and things like that right and that's certainly possible and I've done that that's kind of how I started I started online creating courses that were just videos kind of like this video I'm doing right now where I would just you know be, the basic idea was that people would ask me questions they would be like how do you do this how do you do that how do you do that how are you getting your Facebook likes so so many likes how are you doing this how are you getting your engagement on Facebook how are you getting your subscribers on YouTube how are you getting all these things how are you getting your thousands of LinkedIn connections how are you doing that and I'm, I kept answering the question and eventually I decided to start creating videos and then I would send them links to my YouTube video right and the thing is that when you got to a point where you're starting to think well maybe I could charge for that it's just five bucks or fifteen dollars or something right you could and then it becomes complicated to, to to figure out whether they paid or not and what happens when people don't pay and anyways it's super complicated so then you start looking for a course hosting platform and I did that I started looking for a course hosting platform and eventually I decided that everything that's out there there were features missing there was things that weren't perfect there were things that were too complicated and you know maybe maybe Click eCourse is complicated to somebody else too but I decided to build a platform that allowed that you know fix the things that I thought needed fixing now I might be wrong but it doesn't it's that's not the point because whatever I did is good for some people might be good for you might not I don't know but let's take a look we'll show you what the platform looks like what it is and let me just open up a new incognito window here and share my screen so if you just go oh actually before I do that let's make sure it's sized right so you can actually see the whole thing on your computer here right there I'm going to move that over to the side right there there we go and I think the bottom part needs to be adjusted as well so let's move this up here a bit there we go all right so now we have the whole browser all right so you go to click ecourse.com obviously so click ecourse.com and you just put the link right there for you so you just go to click ecourse.com it'll take you to this page which is basically the about page kind of gives you a list of what you can do depending on what you're interested in right if you're a marketer or if you're a, an affiliate or if you're if you're a if you're a teacher if you're a student you know what are the things that the, the site does for you based on your uh your interests right over here there's a little plus on the side <coughs> it'll be on the page you can either uh, create a new course set up your wordpress blog or raise a support ticket now we're not logged in right now so you can't do any of those things if I click on any of those it'll just say oops it'll just say you must first log in right so if you want to set up your wordpress blog same thing if you want to create a course obviously you can't create a course with it being logged in you got to have an account and the cool thing about Click eCourse is you can have an account for free it doesn't cost anything you just click on the register button right here and then you enter your an email address so I'm just going to put a test uh intro I have a whole domain so I can put whatever I want here right it'll just go to my same 
inbox it'll create an account for me I'm going to click on the register here it says account created please check your email at whatever your email is for a for a link to activate it in the meantime you can still go and browse a little bit around you can look at the plans the different plans that are on Click eCourse there's different uh, levels of plans different features obviously you can see the different features here uh, you can click on the courses to actually look at the courses that are available some of them are free some of them are paid as people add courses there can be more and more courses here uh, if you click on show price right there you'll actually see the price of the courses you can see some of them are like there's some of them are, have special deals on them some of them are free uh, let's see where the like this one here is a free course that's actually one of my courses um, and if you click on any of the courses let's say one that's actually you pay you pay for uh, it'll show up right here with the ability to put a coupon if you ever get a coupon for it you can get a sometimes a, a rebate or a special price and then if you want to do anything else you have to actually log in you see the unlock course right there that means that that course is not accessible until you're you, until you buy it right but there are sometimes free lessons you can watch this free lesson if you want uh what else the site is built around a social media social media kind of feel so there's a what's called a feed here that shows basically whenever somebody adds a comment whenever somebody uh, changes their profile picture whenever somebody creates a new course you'll see this in the feed as the site gets busier and busier you'll see more and more stuff here it'll be and it'll it'll be organized eventually and you know just like any other social with an algorithm and all this stuff right now it's very basic but that's going to be like that there's going to be a leaders uh, board as well showing you leads and leads over time and active points and that kind of stuff that you can kind of see it so that's the basics but anyways how, how do you host a course I mean what's what is a course hosting platform so I like I said I sent there sent myself an email let me just go back to the webcam here I just want to go check the emails make sure I don't uh, you know show any of my secrets here let's just go to the inbox refresh the inbox and just show you the email you'll get so you'll get an email like this now because it's a special account I have a special domain I guess I should say I don't necessarily get uh, the email right away I didn't get it right away normally you would have but anyways it'll say this it'll be the same as this except we won't say FYI this is the admin stuff but this says who the, the it'll say this this will be the content of the email whoops sorry about that why is this not doing what I want there you go so this will be the actual email it'll say this it'll say welcome to click ecourse you or someone else requested an account and if you did not you can just ignore this email as activation link will expire after two days or you may let us know to delete the account so we take spam very seriously if somebody's on there is activating accounts with somebody else's email just for you know to get points or to get leads or whatever that's not okay so if you ever get an email like this and you didn't activate your account and you're looking at this video you're thinking well I didn't activate this account just go ahead and reach out to us and we'll take care of it and that person that did that is going to get slapped and po quite possibly deleted and removed right anyway so you get the link and then you click on this link here to open I'm going to open an incognito it'll activate the account this is kind of what it looks like when you go it'll just say successfully activated your account and it'll log you in it knows it's you it's the, the, the there's a there's a key there and everything right so you just click on that and now you're in with your own account right as you see up top here there's now a log out and there's now a notification bell and a messages bell and your little profile picture you can go to your profile picture and you can change your profile picture right here I can just go and change it to something in here let's go into my images my photos I don't oh no these aren't uh, yeah these aren't really this is not what I meant profile picture oh images there you go images let's just put this profile picture here there I'll just put that one doesn't really matter so now when I just save it now that becomes the profile picture up top you see that's the new picture right there right and over here changes it and if I go to the feed I don't know if it'll be there right away but that shows up eventually as a new item in the feed that somebody changed the profile picture so certain things that are considered public 
and other things that aren't so you could set a bio I'm testing the site now and I'm going to put my name here is going to be testing intro obviously that's not true it's not my real name but I'm going to do that I'm going to save this and now if I if I go to uh the about you'll see this testing intro whoops that's not the right that's not right but anyways that's the basics it's the account you got to do all there's all these things you can do here over here is where you have your blog if you click on the plus now now you're going to be able to say plus course right here and that lets you create a new course so now you're you've got a course let's say you've got a course with videos on YouTube right and let's just actually do that I'm going to go over to my YouTube I'm going to go over to my YouTube uh, account over here just going to see the videos I have it's taking a bit to load uh, let's say I want to do I have a TikTok let's say I have a TikTok course right I'm trying to teach people how to use TikTok and I've got all these little uh, lessons that I put in here I think I can can I search for search across your channel TikTok. okay so now okay let me just share that here okay so I've got all these courses over here these little videos these th little lessons they're not really they're not really what they are but anyways and uh let's say scrolling the feed I'm going to take this well actually first you got the course you want to create the course right let's go back to the uh let's go back to here to the incognito okay so I've got the course here it's going to be TikTok test right and I'm going to say uh, learn about TikTok and then I'm going to say uh details this is this is all about TikTok you know blah 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 right blah 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 you're right you say blah 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 so that's so now I click on next and I can set the SEO I can say TikTok I can say TikTok whoops tick TikTok whoops <laughs> TikTok and then I can say TikTok tips uh then I can say TikTok marketing say TikTok course TikTok learning so this is SEO right so you search engine optimization search engine keywords so you can put all that you want in here you can also put commas if you'd like TikTok viral video <coughs> right like that so you can do that you can do all this that's all your SEO hashtags I don't really use but it's meant for uh, Instagram or other platforms where they eventually will be sharing that will happen uh header code conversion bot uh header code is actually you know JavaScript code like say you want to capture a Facebook pixel or those kinds of things you'll put that in there under categories you can set specify the different categories this is going to be uh TikTok is here let's put TikTok let's put uh, what is it what else do we want let's say social media we want uh, lead generation uh, affiliate marketing whatever you just do that cover image you would put an image in here I choose an image I can say this will be the TikTok let's it doesn't really matter I'm going to put uh let's let's put this one here crack the code <laughs> it's an old picture from some ad I tried but it doesn't really matter so that becomes the um the cover image or the thumbnail of the course and over here you can give it a price I'm going to sell this for 299 and I'm not actually going to give people 90 percent commission and you know why and that's because it's my site obviously if you're hosting your course on here you might not want to give that much unless you're trying to build an audience and you are looking for leads you're looking for people to connect to you're going to have them add to their to your list you're going to start to promote other courses to them that kind of stuff you might want to have a lead course a course that you're almost given away so that other people can promote it if it's a great course and it's got lots of value and you're selling it for a low price or you're giving away a lot of commission you can give a high percentage of commission to people so that they promote it so that you get the leads right all right so that's why I do 90 but in my case because of my own platform 
you can have people download the mp3s or the videos if you want or not the default is that's an option that's possible and then you can use embedded videos now if you're using the free account you have to use embedded videos what does that mean that means that the, whenever they view the video it's going to be using the link to the uh YouTube video and it's going to show with the with the screen it'll say YouTube on there you know with subscribe and all that um, and the reason why we do that is because it does cost us to host your video right on the site so by having the free account you still can create a course and it's and that's basically that's how most sites work anyways so we're we're just doing the same thing on the free account if you want to pay the account you can actually host the video on the site uh right on the click your site so that people can't see that it's from that site or whatever right they know that it's a site but they can't find the video on YouTube and copy it and download it and all that kind of stuff right uh access is uh whether the course is public to users to buyers or unlisted right now it's new still not ready sales is a, a way to have a sales page and the sites is the list of sites you want your course to show up on I'm going to put it on every single site I'm going to click on done all right so now I have my course it's ready it doesn't have any lessons so now I want to add lessons I click on the plus down here the lessons and then I make uh this lesson published I'm going to put the first one what do I have here I have the I have the uh video let's say I have this video here which is what's going on here okay uh scrolling the feed I'm going to take this copy the link and I'm going to go back to the course and I'm going to say scroll feed oops okay scrolling the tick tock feed scrolling that's not right scrolling okay so I create the course here I'm just put the url to the video and I'm just going to say save it and now it's actually getting the thumbnail <clears throat> and now if I click on the course now you see I have a video right here right if I click on play this is what the person would normally see yeah there's always going to be this little intro the first <coughs> video they watch it's kind of like a our you know uh, sales uh, I can just skip right to the end here oh let's turn this down oops no we're not going to just lose here oops so now you can see it's a YouTube check navigation you can see it's a YouTube video because right here you got the YouTube logo click the subscribe button there's all this YouTube stuff right YouTube with uh, closed captions and all this stuff is all there it's showing you that it's a YouTube that's that's what I meant by the embedded so now you can see it's a YouTube so you peep the, the benefit of that is you get more people you get more uh watches on your YouTube video this way right so and you can get subscribers to your YouTube channel that kind of stuff so there is a benefit to using it this way um if I go back to the course right here uh you can now I can now add another lesson I just click on the little plus here and I'm going to add another lesson what's the other lesson I want is recording with hold and let go so copy the link hold record so okay hold record with hold recording recording with hold and let go okay I'm going to make this a published as well I'm going to go down here push the link and save it so now I'm going to have two lessons in my video click on the course and now I have two lessons in the video and you can add and add lessons right and that, now the thing is that happens here is that now once you have the course platform set up with your course versus just you know a, a, an email you send with links to YouTube or maybe a blog post that you have with it now you can actually see things like this you can see how many students how many impressions how many views your course had how many people clicked it and if you're selling you can see the income 
and what people see is how long the videos are so in this case it looks like it didn't capture the oops I didn't want to do that I wanted to edit so down the bottom you'll see there's a view a details an edit and a delete and if I click on the details right here it shows me the details of the course I can click on the edit down here and it lets me edit the the course again now in this case it didn't pick up the number of seconds it's supposed to automatically but let's just uh, do it here it's this one here is a one minute 14 is that the one one minute 14 I can just put 1 14 right there and save it and if I go back to the list the list is the list like this it'll show a list of all the courses see this one doesn't have any time as well I can edit it and I can add the number how long this one is 207 so 207 okay so now when I go back to the course now I can see that the course has 201 seconds in length right it's got 201 seconds that's how long the whole course is it's got two lessons now you can have modules and files and quizzes as well so to add files say I wanted to put a pdf in my course I put here files I can choose a file down here let's go and add I don't know let's just add a, these are all images right here let's put the certificate this is actually a certificate certificate and I'm just going to say I'm going to put the the same image as the thumbnail because otherwise it sucks so there we go save it and now if I look at the course I have a certificate right here so obviously this is not real you could have some way of uh, having a certificate it's uh says publish on the side because it's on draft right if I click on publish here save it so now the course that file is published because if it's not published it allows you to create a new lesson and things like that on your course so that people don't see it necessarily right away until you're ready for them to see it because you might want to edit the text you might want to edit some of the details of it right here's the other thing you can do too you can add deals and coupons so this course is 2.99 right now right I can go manage deals and coupons right here I'm going to put a deal at 149 and it's going to go from say August 1st let's just say zero, zero to August 31st at 2015 okay submit and now I have a new deal and if I reload this page you see now it says that it's 149 until the 31st of August so that's how you make sure that people see some urgency you can set this to you know to to, to tonight right so that people see the price is going to go back up to 299 after right so then if you're doing a webinar or something like that you're going to you can have that like this the other thing you can do too is you can have a coupon you can have a coupon on the site you go here and let's say I call this you know uh, 25 let's say uh super deal right and that the price is going to be 49 dollars and I'm just going to go like this now you can put a start and end date on those two or you can put a maximum let's say I have only 10 coupons submit this and now I have this super deal right there and if and you can see the super deal is right here now if I I'm logged in in incognito so I can't really I guess I could log out let's just uh, let's go back to this the course right here let's log out and there you go and reload this page now as a person who oh it's uh, right it's not public okay let's uh, log back in it's going to be which one did I just log in what did I create <laughs> I created a new account I don't remember what it was I'll go back to my email here it was test intro so test intro log in and reload the course okay so that's the course let's actually make it an unlisted course if I go into the settings of the course I just click on edit the course right here and let's just go to access and change it to unlisted right here so done okay so now if I go to this course and I log out and I'm now I reload the page and now it says that the course is available but if I put this super deal coupon here super deal 
and apply the coupon now it's showing me that it's 49 dollars with the super deal coupon and there's remaining 10 of 10 so when people use the coupon the number will go down so if it says remaining two of 10 right you know that oh you got to hurry up and get that deal right and that's the coupons uh, the the price is normally 299 you're getting it for 49 as with a super deal so that's what the coupons are for I'm going to log back in here uh what did I call it was it test info login invalid login what did I test info is that what it was no, invalid what was it <laughs> test intro oh test intro <laughs> all right so test in intro intro all right that'll work log in okay so that's my course that's my thing now if I go back to the courses this course is not showing up in the courses here because it's not a public course but I can go back to the course I can click on view your courses right here and I can see the course that I created right here I can just click on it to take me to the course and I can edit the course by either clicking here or up here right there's more than one edit button and then over here I can say access I can make this a public course if I make this a public course it gives me a warning because you can't undo that just be well just because the platform set that way uh, but if I do that now it's public now if I go to courses up here now that course is going to be in the courses here if you scroll down you see it's right down there right hit that text now so if I click on it, it takes me to the course just like we had because I'm logged in it knows it's me so it knows I can edit it but normally people don't see any of this stuff right they just see the lessons the files and you can actually see how there's ads on the sides you can choose to not show those you can say no and now there won't be any ads on the side for anybody who's visiting this the course page right uh, the other thing now that we've created the course I don't really want it I'm going to delete it I click on this delete button right here delete link it tells me the list of lessons the list of files tells me you know kind of see shows me the the course itself are you sure this is what you want to do yes or no I click on yes and that actually deletes the course now you can't delete a course once you have students in the course right um so I mean that's uh that's the thing right so if you have if you have students in your course uh, they, it won't let you delete it because you know somebody might have paid they probably paid for the course right or maybe they just added it to the library so it doesn't let you do that so yeah so that's basically what course click ecourse is it's a hosting site where you can put your own courses on there as you can see right here I've got these these uh the, this course here that I created with uh with Mayan Gordon right here and we po posted a bunch of new lessons that's why we're seeing those in the list here uh in the in the feed and what else can I tell you there's uh well that's yeah that's that's about it I mean that's what Click eCourse is about it's creating your course now the other thing oh yeah one thing that really is interesting is that if you click on the plus here you're going to see there's a WP well let's do the sport thing so if you click on the support it uh, oh that's nice I guess that's not working <laughs> it's supposed to take you the same page as this page which is allows you to create a new ticket enter a new ticket it's supposed to take you I'll have to fix that that's supposed to take you to this page right here which you can get to by clicking support at the bottom here and then clicking on new ticket and that's uh creating a support page on here a support ticket so you can say well this feature is not working or uh we'd like to see I'd like to see this new feature or do you guys support this that kind of stuff right so that's what that is and then the the WP blog is actually the there's a place on here that you can actually set up a blog you can set up your very own blog we're just going to create this like this uh, I'm going to set the password here admin and the same password I use and that just activates your blog it takes just you know a minute or two maybe two not two minutes I don't think so we'll see 
but it just activates your blog and then you have a blog you can actually start posting uh, your posts it's a wordpress blog it's a self-hosted wordpress blog you can have your own posts on there everything it's all good if I access my blog now now I can see that I have a blog it's a website I can add pages to it if I click on the manager blog site right there lets me log in here <coughs> whoops <coughs> and then over here I can add a post right it's as simple as that I'll just close this hello post one I'll just save it and publish it and then if I go to my a blog right here reload this you'll see that now I have two posts hello and hello world right and that's as simple as that and then you can delete it if you want I can delete my blog right here I don't want it I don't need it I'm deleting it and it's gone now it shows up again as if I never had it so anyways those are the things you can do there's lots more obviously that you can do depending on the plans you have like I said there's different plans there's different things um that you can do in Click eCourse um and and yeah so it's a course hosting platform where you can host your own courses and you can see what's going on who's watching how many let client how many students you have you can sell your course you can make an income from it and the way that oh you know what let's just cover that the way that that works is if you go in your profile and you set up your affiliate uh, options you can choose to be an affiliate you should probably set your username to something like that right paypal you put your paypal account in here whatever your uh you know my real email my real account <clears throat> right and you save that and then you activate the rest it says here you got to go to the details page and set all these up the time zone page and set up your time zone I'm going to set my time zone up America I don't know North Dakota center there you go I'm going to go into my details now I'm going to set all this up here so like one two three main street in London city in CO one two three four five country USA phone number one two three one two three one two three four gender I gotta say my gender 19 two, well that's a little young isn't it let's say 1981 uh, September 11th there you go oh that's up I wonder no <laughs> anyway so now I have everything I can go back to affiliate <coughs> everything is set up I accept the uh, request to be in the field I accept the rules I save it and now if I go back you can see now that if you go to say for example uh in the commissions you'd be able to see that you have commissions under activity you can see when you logged in when you set things up right uh, under advanced is where you would set your conversion bot id Do you see this little bot down here this little chat that's actually what a conversio bot you can go to my conversio bot to go check it out and it's basically it's you set a have a conversation with your visitors you can set that up so that it shows a different chat on your page or on your courses anyways there's lots of, like I said there's so much stuff you can do we should probably cover that some other time but that's the basics of having a hosting platform that you can have uh, your own courses on your platform like this right you can have your own courses it's it's super simple to set up a course as you saw we just did it in a minute we'll see you in the next episode and let me just take that out of there and so yeah so I mean that's how you set up a course I, I keep using this as a screenshot but anyway so yeah so you can set up your own course on Click eCourse we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.